Hi, I'm Randy Nessie from the Arizona State University Center for Evolution and Medicine. Our guest today is Bruce Kaplan. Uh, he is an immunobiologist and transplant physician who is currently vice president at the Baylor something in white. Baylor Scott and White. Baylor Scott and White um, School, and he's just made this transition after coming from Mayo Clinic and ASU, where he was for recent years. We're so glad you're with us today, Bruce. Yeah. Can you say just a little bit about how you got into this whole business of transplant biology? Uh, I'd like to say it was a planned uh, uh, action, but actually uh, I started out in medical school not really knowing what I wanted to do, and then did internal medicine and then uh, still didn't know what I wanted to do and uh, had a friend at the time who went off to do a uh, fellowship in kind of mathematic modeling uh -huh. and uh, was assigned to the immunology part of it and uh, uh, we lucked out we found some uh, new immunosuppressants uh, spent some time uh, working with some uh, giants in the field and uh, it was at Columbia then you were? Or uh, this was actually Harvard. when I was at, uh, I had been at, uh, finished up all my basic training in internal mm -hmm. medicine and, and was, this was at Northwestern in, in an NIH fellowship. Uh -huh. And uh, somehow the research caught on. So uh, when Northwestern decided to uh, ramp up their transplant program, they asked me to be the first medical director of transplant. Uh, the surgeons having known me for having worked on uh, some of these newer immunosuppressants. Right. And you've also edited a main transplant journal for many years. I've been, uh, you know, helped start and been deputy editor of the main transplant journal for 14 years, and moving over to take over as an executive editor of the other transplant journal. But now you've taken on a newer and larger job. Uh, a new job. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I'm curious about what your plans are for the medical school there and what a huge job that is. It's the one thing I'm learning about it is the virtues of patience yeah. and that uh, there are a lot of people who have accomplished an enormous amount and that uh, whenever you take on any kind of leadership role, uh, the first thing is to learn to appreciate the strengths of the people that are there. Mm -hmm and uh, not go yeah. in, and, and we, I think we all suffer from this when we're younger. Is go fix it all. We're gonna come in and fix everything. Yes, right. Uh, and not realize that there may be some very smart people there who had already thought of this. Right, right. And so I'm still in the learning phase of finding yeah. out what lessons have they, really, have they learned and right. what, what parts can I come in with whatever unique knowledge I have and help. Right. So we'll go on in just a minute to try to figure out how this all links up with transplant biology and evolution.